So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to look at good practice for adding a new mesh to our file. Now right now you can see I have one mesh in this Blender file, it's the default cube. And if I was going to add another object, so I'm going to put a sphere that's going to sit neatly on top of this. Uh, what we need to be aware of is I guess how it's going to be used when we publish our work, if it's going to go into Unity for a game, uh, how we're going to texture it, how we're going to animate it, all those sort of things. So in this case here, if I, I'm in object mode, notice I'm in object mode, if I hit sh hold down shift and press A, it brings up the add menu, and under mesh there's a whole bunch of different things you could add. I'm just going to choose the sphere, and that has appeared underneath cube, but there it is. So if I just have that sitting nicely there on top of my cube, you'll notice that if I select one, the other one is deselected. They are separate objects. Okay, so that's rather important then because if I tab into edit mode, I'm only going to be editing the sphere. Whereas if I have the cube selected, when I press tab, I'm now only going to be editing the cube. Now the reason this is quite important is because if you think you're going to do something um, rather intricate with them or you need to move uh, some edges or vertices at some point, it's not a bad idea to keep them separate. Um, and I'll show you why. If I just remove the sphere there, so here I am, I've got the cube selected. If I press tab to go into edit mode, I'm now working on that object. So I'm actually inside it. So if I press shift A now and I add a sphere, it is now part of this object. So if I tab out, you can see if I right click, it selects the whole thing. So the sphere is now part of this object. And that can be really useful because obviously they move together. Um, and if I scale them up, you know, I can scale them together. However, if I tab back in, if I want to do something to part of this object, it's quite hard to select exactly what you want. Now, I mean, you will get better at it, but it is something just to be aware of. Um, trying to select a whole bunch of stuff here when the, you can see, if I just press Z to go to wireframe mode, you can see some of those vertices are now starting to overlap. You can see they've gone inside the cube shape, which can make it a little bit difficult to select things later on. So again, just something to be aware of when you're adding shapes, um, decide early on whether or not you want them to be part of the same object, in which case make sure you're in edit mode when you add the new mesh, or if you want them to be a separate object, Make sure that you're in object mode before you add the new mesh.